bienvenido. I didn't know you spoke Spanish, Steve. Baker, what are we vlogging on right now? Uh, the RX Sony Mark. RX Mark IV. I think that's what it is. I'm just making up numbers. <laughs> I went back to this old camera because it's so easy. I feel like anytime I'm vlogging on the Panasonic, the GH5, it's kind of difficult. So it's just we're just starting off the vlog with a messy kitchen. Guys, why are we working in here and not in the office? The office is not complete. <laughs> exactly. I award Gryffindor House 60 points. Yeah. Oh, top of our agenda. This is Dana. Dana, do you want to introduce yourself to my channel? Dana Montana. She has a YouTube channel too. Go check it out. I met Dana five years ago, six years ago. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Where were we? Was that in Pocatello? Yeah. No. It was, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Um, now Dana is organizing my life. She is assistant extraordinaire. Going to be taking... <laughs> Yesterday, I'll show you guys what she did real fast. Who's calling me? I can't talk right now. Hello? In the service center, we have been trying to contact you regarding- Dana, take care of that. <laughs> um, and then, this is what she did yesterday. How epic is this? This room was a disaster. This is my Gymshark crew. This is the tracksuit that I'm giving away that is releasing on the 27th of next month. I gave a tracksuit away on my Instagram. Um, I have different piles set up here of giveaways. Giving away some shoes. So I want to do a lot of giveaways on YouTube videos and we're gonna actually start on this one I'm gonna be giving away a movement watch. I'm gonna show you guys my closet here in a second. Not this closet, but my other closet Whoa! Dana, you killed this! Like literally! You Maria condoed the shit out of it! Wow! All of my sweatshirts, all of my Gymshark sweatshirts, all of my Gymshark pants what happens though when I wear things and then they get washed? What happens and then they're clean? I really feel like this is a good thing. Um, and this is all the Steve Cook collection. So much room for activities in here now. Okay, but here's the thing. I need to get rid of some of my shoes. Just got these here the other day. The fear of God. So. Um, my rule of thumb is is I only need, I can only have this many shoes. So, should I buy more containers? No, I should not. Maybe I should. I don't know. Should I buy more containers or get rid of shoes? So I only have room for this many. Should that be the limiting factor? I am going to be selling some shoes and also donating some shoes. Some Jordans and things like that. Ha, not this row of Jordans. Not the Gammas, the Breads, the Jordan 1s, the Jordan 1s, the Jordan 1s. Um, maybe these though. I do love these. These were actually a gift, so I can't, I can't donate or sell them. Um, how cool are these? These are my newest pickup, the United Ultra Boost. So these are going to be my Fourth of July. Baker, I think the focus on this is a little bit weird. These are going to be my fo my Fourth of July shoes. Um, this is my Adidas stack here. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. So, and then Adidas over there as well. So, anyhow, shoe, shoe room's looking good. I got a bunch of pointless trophies in here. Um, don't even know what those are for. I haven't given you guys a house tour since it's been all decorated and everything. Hobbs, you better like me more than Dana. Um, and then my room. It's a complete mess. A complete and utter disaster. So this is what, and it kind of actually smells. A smelly smell that smells smelly. I'm not a smelly person, but it's just a lot of stuff. So organizing my movement watches. This is all giveaway. So I'm giving away a pair of, be doing giveaways for Pit Viper, some sunglasses. Movement actually has a bunch of new watches dropping. So we're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna be doing a movement giveaway on this. All right, we are in the Gymshark room that Dana did an amazing job with. And I'm going through my stuff, um, some giveaway piles, that's Desert Industry. I'm gonna be selling, that's like some high-end stuff over there. 
This is Gymshark stuff. This is the giveaway pile. So I'm giving these away to an Instagram comment on my latest squat video. Um, these are all movement watches that I'm gonna be giving away on these Thursday vlogs. At least one vlog a month I will be giving away one of those. Pit Viper, ultra running shoes. So we got sunglasses, we got a little bit of everything. But what I'm gonna give Baker is the opportunity right now to pick one out without looking at it. And if it's leather, too bad. You're gonna have to donate it to somebody who wears leather because Alex is vegan and he doesn't wear leather. Come on, Baker! Oh, what are you hoping for? I don't actually know. Maybe it's a black classic. It looks like rubber. That's the one I thought. That's like a diving watch. Look at that. It's yeah. Modern sport. Yep, it's like a sporty. Water resistant. Yep. So you could wear Damn, that. Damn, son. Is that the one you're keeping? Call me James Bond. I will never call you that. Because that is my name. Poor Hobbs doesn't even have any clothes, and you're freaking, you're freaking over here turning down clothes, and Hobbs is naked all the time. Look at my wiener! No, don't! That's so embarrassing, Dad. How, how do these people win? No, I don't want to. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. What? How do they win? What I'm picking up winners on the people who watch the Thursday vlogs. You're actually picking the winners. Do they have to have like notifications on, or how do they win it? Yeah, turn your notifications on on YouTube right now because the algorithm is. So turn on that, and then um, Thursday vlogs, one Thursday vlog a month, I'll be picking out a winner for movement watches. So you can always save 15% when you use just Steve Cook as your code when you check out. <laughs> oh, caught with balls in your mouth. Oh, if I had a dollar every time that happened. These are what we are all eating, Dana made vegan protein balls. Which we all know vegans don't have balls. <laughs> oh. That's what I've learned today. You said a bum chicka bow wow. Brown chicken, brown cow. And it can either mean like, ooh, I love brown chickens and brown cows, like I'm vegan. Or it can mean like, ooh, I love eating brown chickens and brown cows. So I'm just gonna let Alec decide which one I'm eating. Brown chicken, brown cow. What's just that? put your vegan balls in your mouth, Steve. What do you like better? Dude. He's a snorosaurus. Yes, what? he snores. He's a hippo bat pig. That's what he is. Huh, you don't like a camera in the face? The question is. Oh, you're such a cute boy though, you're such a cute boy. We're gonna really try to hammer down things and, and Dana's gonna make my life so much easier. This is our second day and things are already looking brighter. <laughs> what are these doing? Ba-boom! These are contest winner stuff. We're shipping them out. And you get to pick a winner too on, you get to pick a winner of the Instagram comment that you like for the Gymshark tracksuit. Oh, you get to pick it. All right. So Should you guys want to kiss her butt if you want to win. Well, you have to actually leave a great comment first. How but. old do you think I am? That's the question. <laughs> I like that. Steve wins. Uh, all right, get to work, Baker. Uh, all I know is it's gonna be 100 degrees today, which means there definitely needs to be some pool action. Ah, oh, work, work, work. I hate work. I feel like Michael Scott, just trying to procrastinate as much as I can. Gotten a lot of bills paid today. Look at Dana over here with her colored pins, looking all official and everything. All I know is the best part about having a pool is that at any point in time, I can go out and jump in the pool, here we go!
a record that will never be broken. That's like Will Chamberlain's 100 point game. How long was I under there? An hour? A minute. Close All the oxygen minute. is out of my body right now. Are you impressed? Yeah. Don't act like you're not impressed. I am impressed. Oh, that hurt. Woo! Michael Phelps, eat your heart out. Shamu, eat your heart out. Stayed underwater longer than a whale. Oh, buddy. That hurt big time. Oh. Oh. I'm done. Felt good, though. Felt good to be the champion again. Assuming that my calculations are correct, Gryffindor wins the House Cup. What seems to be the problem here, Chief? Well, my sister teaches swim lessons, and a kid must have knocked out my vacuum cleaner. So, right now, I'm your pool boy, AKA getting it done. AKA, I want to swim. AKA, Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve, damn you! Today was a good day. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of an update on my life. So I got the assistant. Um, I don't know if it's, I've just been feeling so out of sorts. And yes, there's traveling. I haven't been enjoying lifting. So we kind of talked about this in the last video. I haven't been enjoying lifting. And I think it's because there's so many things with owning a house, with traveling, owning a dog, businesses. Um, and I never ever liked other people doing things. Like I always felt like I had to be the one pulling every string. Like I, like I shouldn't get someone to help me out with, with organizing like things that I don't like doing, like paying bills, going through mail, because I come home and there's just stacks of it. Um, you know, doing laundry, putting away clothes, running errands, setting my Google Calendar. Um, what I want to concentrate on is content, working out, and then making cool, cool videos. So posting things, um, traveling, shooting, staying in shape, cooking, prepping meals. And I haven't done any of that. Like what I love, I haven't been doing any of that because I've been feeling really for the first time in my life, just kind of like this, eh, this blah, this kind of like, I don't know if it's, I would call it a full blown like depression, but I've just been feeling like not like myself, which is why um, I got my blood work because I wanted to see if I was low testosterone um, and why I'm taking HCG um, to see if that can help boost my natural testosterone before doing something like maybe like a TRT eventually down the road. But I also want to have kids and I know that I can kind of throw that off being very real with you guys right now because you know like I have this assistant who's going to help me out with like I want to start a board short company and I want to have more time to do those things that really matter to me so all these things that don't matter I want to just have somebody else do so um gonna work 20 hours a week for me just doing things running errands shipping out contest winner stuff first time in my life I've had someone do that and it's really hard for me so that's what we're going through right now here in the house, but I feel like it's already a good, like it's a good thing. I already feel like I'm feeling lighter, like I'm able to do more things that I'm really enjoying. And hopefully that'll allow me to, coupled with getting blood work done and making sure hormones and everything kind of get me out of this funk. Um, and it's it's kind of bled over from, you know, not, uh, you know, it was like, I. I I wasn't getting good workouts and I was blaming it. It's like, oh, it's because I own a gym and like I'm there just meeting people that come in and that was the excuse. But really there's gotta be no excuses. So I wanna make sure, you know, blood work, I, I'm staying as healthy as I can. So where I can't, I can't give myself any excuses. It's just, it has to be done. Um, but low testosterone, I would say I was definitely on the lower side. Um, definitely can make you feel tired and just kind of achy and things like that. So really looking forward to more just having fun, getting this blood work done, having somebody who can kind of take some of the stress off and then being able to really create a lot more cool content because that's honest, honestly what I enjoy. I enjoy the human interaction. And yesterday I actually had a call with The Biggest Loser as an opportunity to maybe do something with them. They're interviewing hundreds of people the chances are small, but I think that would kind of be something different and new because I don't have like a current goal these days. And not having a current goal is something that I think also kind of plays into this just going through the motions. And I was talking to the the producers of the show or the casting director of the show. I'm talking about, you know, how, how it's so important to get your clients, to get people 
um, to, to have a, a, a visualize a, a, a place where they want to be, have this hard and fast goal and that reason why. And I was thinking about it today. I'm like, what is, what is that goal? What do I have? Like competing to me kind of lost its luster when I, when I realized how unhealthy it could be. You wanted to be competitive. You wanted to be the best. You had to do things that other people were willing to do. And again, we talked about that. Um, and now I'm kind of like, well, if that's not it, what do I want to do? And I think it's more like what I've enjoyed for the past, you know, eight years traveling around to expos and all that is the human interaction, the human connection. So it's just about maximizing that. And along the way, I want to have some health goals as well. So we're kind of like currently in the middle of that. So if you guys have any like suggestions, whether it's, it is going back to like trying to train for a triathlon or just doing whatever, you know, we talked about doing like a max back squat and then running a mile. Like Jake wants to try to do that and hit 500 on the back squat in a five minute mile, which would be a freak thing to do. I don't think there's too many people on the planet that can do that. Um, but having goals that, that I really am, am staying accountable to and then having people that I'm staying accountable to. So I, mean, I really appreciate you guys watching this vlog. And I think it was a fun one. We got out and we just kind of just like, you know what, let's just kind of show them what we got. We, at the end of the day, it's just, here's what we're doing. We're working with the, with my assistant. You guys got to meet Dana, working with Alec. We're going to jump in the pool. I went over and I took care of my, my grandparents tonight. Didn't even work out today. Be 100% honest. Didn't even work out today. And um, that's all right. You know, it's one of those things that definitely taking care of my grandparents is more important. And tomorrow's another day. So hopefully we find some motivation in forms of creating good habits and making sure everything on that checklist of health, you know, blood work, making sure that, you know, like I'm the type of person that I either do things 100% or not at all. I'm like, I'm going to be the best at something or I'm not going to do it at all. And that's like competing. That's why I'm not doing it. My house, if it's a little bit dirty, it's like I, either my house is going to be spotless, it's going to be beautiful, or I'm not going to even clean it at all. So I'm going to really try to do concentrate more on the things I want to do and the things I don't want to do. Um, we're going to have somebody like Dana here to help out for a couple hours a week. So anyhow, whew, I know that was long-winded. I appreciate you guys listening to these, and we'll be back next time. Monday, we do a trainer. Thursday is a vlog. Sunday, we're going to try to do a one-take. So... Stay tuned to that and give us suggestions because we always love those. Bye.